Well, oh well, I have finished physically making my project. The only thing I have left to do now is clean this acrylic top because it's disgusting and there's fingerprints all over it. And I need to do some programming. Um, in terms of programming, I don't have this red button working. Um, the sound levels are not on the LED display yet. And none of these uh, buttons, uh, well, switches, I mean, work. But everything else is completely built up. All the wires are in there anymore. All the wires are in there now. They're no longer on this prototype board. This is a, if you didn't know what a breadboard was, which is, it's a thing where you can prototype with wires and you can plug it in, in and out often. But now I'm using this Vero board over here, which you solder into it and it makes much more permanent. Um, and you can observe my bird's nest of wires in there. I tried to make it as neat as possible. There's only so much you can do. Anyway, let's turn the thing on and see how it's looking. I've got my main switch over here, which will turn it on. The servos have moved into their initial position, which is in the middle, over there, with the drum and the maraca. And uh, I'm planning to make the interface work that when you press the yellow button, it switches between three different numbers and each number has its own song. And then when you want to select that song, you just press the red button. The red button can also be used to stop the um, song while it's busy playing if you want to do that or whatever. But at the moment, I've just got it that when it gets to number three, it'll play the Nintendo Wii theme song, which I'm sure you've already heard from our previous videos. But now is the first time you'll get to see it with the final box complete. So, and there it's time to play. The box is now completely portable, running on a battery, so I can pick it up and it'll run us. Oh, wow, this thing, that maraca really has a lot of force to it. I must be careful not to drop it. I've even got, uh, I'm going to drop this thing. I've even got holes at the bottom for the uh, drum sound. I put in as many holes as possible to let the sound escape as much as possible. Yeah, don't worry about it. Even though this this part of the project is sticking out of the top because I wanted to make the box as small as possible, it doesn't hurt, like, at all. Running it off of uh, four AA batteries, rechargeable ones, because rechargeable batteries are the best. Almost done with my project, that is all.